they say, it could be as good as a score. Yeah, great score by Ollie. Uh, great work by Barry Foley, holding the ball in there, eventually got away and got the pass off, and a uh, great score. Maybe that's what's finally going to separate them. Tuck out a long one by Jerry Kennedy. Niall Moran is there as he goes to make it three points. It's sailing between the posts, and Limerick can see Waterford within their sights and a place in the Munster final. The referee has not blown his whistle, but Parker Gale is being invaded by over-enthusiastic Limerick supporters, and there is no way can this game continue with the way this pitch is now being covered by fans. And the referee is going to have to hold play as everybody goes back outside the wire. An amazing drama. There was no way there was going to be a goal score down there, Matthew, because there was about 5,000 Limerick people defending it. I think they, they must have thought that the, the, the whistle for the puck out from Jerry Kennedy was the final whistle, but amazing scenes. The stewards doing their best to make sure everybody goes back, but that could mean, uh, depending on the referee's decision, further uh, time to be added on. I want to give a throw ball, I think, here in the middle as uh, players and uh, officials get everybody off the pitch. Ferrari have to get possession. The referee blows the full-time whistle. Limerick have finally broken their bad luck and for the first time in six years they win a Munster Championship game and they win a place in the Munster final against Waterford on July 8th. The emotions are pouring out of every Limerick person. They have invaded Park the Gale on a historic day for them. They've come under a lot of criticism over the last couple of years. They won 321 All-Irelands and yet failed to graduate to the senior level. But literally, today, they came of age. And no better man than Ollie Moran, the veteran of the side, to ensure that it is Limerick in the Munster final. What a game, what a finish. It had everything, Anthony Daly. It had absolutely everything, Marty. And the scenes here are reminiscent of a team that's just won in Ireland, really. And, uh... You know, I think great credit due to the Limerick supporters as well, Marty. I was saying it there earlier on to you that you know, they were seven points down with seven minutes to go on Turles and a, a, a chant of Limerick, Limerick went up around Turles and these are people that are crying out for success and very unlucky not to win two All-Irelands in the 90s, really. Wexford winning one and even Michael Dyke in the studio there would agree that they probably had a slice of luck in 94. And you can see what Merlin means to these people and fantastic scenes down under us here and... Uh, is, it's great, it's tough on tip, it's tough on tip because so many times they look like the team that had the momentum and would go on and win, but uh, you, you don't begrudge Limerick either and, and the, the supporters nearly will them on to win it. Well, what a day here in Limerick, they love their rugby, they love their soccer, but by gosh, do Limerick people love their hurling. It is like an All-Ireland, they have just won instead of the semi-final of the Monster Championship. There is no cup yet, lads, but I can tell you, there'll be certainly celebrations all over County Limerick. It's a new era for the Shannon Siders, and the people of Limerick have followed this team from zero to being hero, literally, over the last two weeks, and they fully deserve it because they've shown dignity and character and self-belief. At times, their heart and their soul was tested, but they got there, and they're in the Monster final. Yeah, fantastic. You see Mike O'Brien down there being mobbed by supporters at the moment, uh, Marty, and, you know, in fairness, he's one of the real warriors in that team, and no, no one deserves the congratulations any more than him. It's Limerick in the Munster final, and the celebrations continue here. We'll be back shortly.